welcome and today we are looking about everything to do with artifacts ever since the update came out yesterday i've tried to work on them i tried to play with them and we'll talk about everything that changed uh, with the artifacts i have six pointers written down and i'll try to go for all of them in a row so yes you can already see some legendary artifacts at the top but what I'm gonna start with is the lower tier artifacts. So what you need to know about those is that the success rates have been changed. So previously from blue ones to purple ones, the success rate was 10%. Now it was changed to 25, which makes getting purple ones much, much easier. So if you do have a lot of blue artifacts, I would recommend saving them for the update. This update, the artifact update will come out after three weeks for us. So that will be let me see it will be like the last week of december i believe should be around the 28th this was already confirmed by the way there was a separate notice yesterday next week we are getting fairy queens and transmogs and uh, the last week of december we're getting the rest of the stuff that came out in korea yeah so the success rate for blue ones uh, to purple ones was changed to 25 percent and from purple ones to legendary ones it is now 10 percent so the same as the old one uh, for the blue artifacts and now legendary artifacts so what even are these so legendary artifacts are basically the next tier after purple ones and instead of the purple ones like the blue and purple ones work on a specific type of unit the legendary artifact only works on one unit it's not even a class uh as in like in any martial cat for example this one only works on the wind one no other monster uh, will it work on right so as you can see i select the wind martial cat and uh this artifact becomes available and unfortunately i cannot equip any other artifact on it uh that artifact is locked to a specific unit as you can see i have a few right now so that's one for the dark vagabond uh the light hug the wind cat will be probably the easiest to get because it will be available in the galagos pass if you purchase it but yeah i also got the dark monkey and uh, the water fairy also if you want a bit of a comparison for stats of them so if we want to compare purple to legendary tiers we have to take uh, the type of a unit into account because it it will basically be the same based on the type right uh let me see if i can find a few of the same type um support i believe yeah both of these are a support type so you can see that the stats of those of the light hug and the water fairy artifact are the same so basically support will have a certain uh, stat uh, knight will have a certain stat warriors will have a certain stat same way as with purple and uh, blue ones as well and for comparison you can see level one stat right here so for the purple one 81 attack 66 defense 900 hp for the purple assassin artifact and 138 113 and 1656 for a legendary tier at level zero now we can also compare level 15 so at level 15 uh the wind cat or not the wind cat but an assassin type artifact for example will have 201 attack 165 defense 2.3k hp whereas the legendary one at level 15 will have 373 attack 305 defense and 4.4 thousand hp so once you power it up the difference is huge on top of that, some legendary artifacts, uh, or not, no, not actually some, all legendary artifacts have another added bonus. Now, for some of them, they are not shown because there is simply a missing English translation, but a few of them are shown. So, for example, let's say something like a Dark Monkey, right? Uh, at a certain level, you will have one bonus, and sometimes it will have a second bonus as well. So, for example, the Dark Monkey at level 0 receives a another buff where whenever he hits a unit with level 2 or higher defense break it will also apply block harmful beneficial effect removal for 7 seconds and once you power that up it goes up to 14 seconds and at level 15 for example the dark monkey has additional effect so once you click level 15 you can see it decreases its skill cooldown by 20 percent upon using ascension strike so uh, yeah, there's a lot of different bonuses. Those are lifted, listed in the patch video yesterday, so you can divide into that one. Uh, I won't list all of them here, but yeah, there's some additional bonuses on top of being a huge stat increase as well. 
And now for the power-up cost. So if you click on the level 15, you'll notice that first of all, damn, that is expensive. Skystones are whatever, gold, a million, I can shell that. 75k of these. Uh, this will be super expensive. Uh, these are very limited. They are only limited to hero area. And yeah, you're gonna blast through them a lot if you power these legendary artifacts. Luckily, you will not be able to power those legendary artifacts that fast because uh, yeah, for every three levels, you'll notice that you need an extra of a certain item right here. So at level three, you need one, level six, you need two, three, four, and five. And this is actually a duplicate legendary artifact. To power up a legendary artifact, you need to feed another legendary artifact. Luckily, you don't need to feed uh, an artifact of the same monster. So for example, to power up the wind cat, I only need to feed an artifact of another martial cat. It does not have to be wind one, it can be any of the martial cats. But yeah, if you go to the second screen right here, you can see wind martial cat, you can feed another martial cat and it will increase the level that way. So there's a very low chance that you will be able to max it out fully right off the bat. With an exception being the Fairy Queens, because you will have a bit of an easier way getting those specific artifacts when it releases. And now for the new way that artifacts are acquired. So previously, uh, the main way you could get them was from the professions and you would get some from the world boss. But now the world boss reward has been changed. So first of all, you can see that the tokens have been replaced by these new items and the ranking rewards. Uh, you no longer get uh, the artifacts, you instead get these artifact summoning items. I don't know what they're called. Again, you can see that there's no translation, but uh, yeah, at the lowest rank, it looks like you get seven of them and you can go up to 30 if you get a triple S tier in the reward. On top of that, you can get additional 15 if your total server damage exceeds 5 billion. So uh, every week, the maximum you can get is around 45 of these. Now, apart from the IRL shop, I haven't found any other way to acquire these. Uh, you can see that like the IRL shop has some packs with it. But apart from that, uh, it doesn't seem like there are any ways to get them as of now. And what you use those for is if you go to the summon table, you click on the artifact and there's the new artifact section. So artifacts will have to be summoned the way, uh, the same way uh, monsters are summoned, right? And there's two different summoning items. So there's the galaxy summon where you use these blue pieces, which you will have quite a bit of. And then there's the starlight summons, which is like a more premium summoning item, right? So uh, you can see the odds in here for the regular one. The odds of getting a blue artifact 85%, hero artifact 11 and legendary 4%. And then for the premium ones, uh, it's 40 and 60. So you are guaranteed a purple one, but there's a very, very big chance to get a legendary one as well. And for the odds, uh, the nat 4 artifacts have three times higher odds than nat 5s uh, to appear. Now also, uh, they did mention making this for fairies. I'm not sure whether this will be the same for all new units. Uh, but as you can see, all five fairies have an option to go for a banner of the artifact. So uh, there is a pity for 200 items. So once you summon 200 of these artifact pieces on a single banner, you will get a guaranteed legendary artifact. And the same way as with banners, uh, the odds of that artifact are increased by a lot. So the same odds as the banner, 0.4% for each summon, which means you get around like 80% to get one uh, if you summon all 200, right? So just to showcase how it works, I'll summon a few of these. Uh, the summon combination is really cool. You will see a color, either blue, purple or legend. And yeah, we see a legend here. Uh, let's see the odds. I got a legendary. I got two of the same, of course, purple artifacts and then seven blue ones. We can do another one. So that legendary one seems like it was for the Dark Silk. Uh, what we're getting now, only the purple one. So I got Attack Enhancement. Oh, oh no, not the one, not the one. I want the support one. But yeah, nine blue artifacts and Attack Enhancement. We can do another 10. What we get then? Come on, legendaries, yeah? Hey, that's the farmer luck, yeah? There we go. So I got one for the Light Vagabond. 
uh, I got a a new was it that no that's one of the newer ones purple ones and eight uh, blue ones and you also can summon these with crystals so one artifact will cost you 150 crystals or you can do 10 for 1350 personally wouldn't recommend doing this it's not that urgent of a thing and then for starlight summons so these are basically like if the previous one is a mystical scroll this is like a legendary scroll per se it has like 10 percent higher odds to get legendaries right so for this one i got a purple one i'll do another one maybe i'll get a legend 40 percent chance come on ah purple again but yeah attack enhancement again uh, these do have a pity as well, so for the regular ones, after 200 you get the premium one, and for the premium one, uh, after 75 you get a box with a legendary artifact. It's, it looks like a purple one, but uh, as you notice, the background is orange, so this will actually give you a legendary artifact. Uh, so yeah, that's how artifacts work pretty much. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about them, I think I addressed everything that there is so far. And yeah, don't worry, in the beginning, by the way, you will get quite a few legendary artifacts. Uh, there is the new Summoner's Way uh, quest, and one of them has quite a few of them. So you'll be able to get 10 of these regular pieces and one premium piece. That's, of course, four times for each Summoner, so 14 total and four premium ones. And there's also a reward for the legendary one, so you'll get four legendary artifacts guaranteed. So yeah. I already disassembled quite a few of them. Oh yeah, I, I forgot something. I forgot one more thing. Uh, you'll see this recipe, right? Uh, this will give you, basically, it's not a selection, it's like a random artifact that you can get for a 5-star, a natural 5-star unit. It costs 5 of these, and artifact cores are what you get when you disassemble legendary artifacts. So if I go to my artifact menu, I don't really care about these artifacts much, so I will try to disassemble one of them. Uh, let's do something like a uh, water fairy, right? I disassemble, I get some of the pieces, and I get a legendary one of these. I already disassembled, this was the third one. It looks like you get only one per disassemble. And once you get five, you can craft that, and you will be able to craft a natural five-star artifact. And just to confirm that you can use Vagabonds, you can see that I select another Vagabond to power up the dark one, I use the light one, or the other way, I'm not even sure and you can enhance it. So yeah, that's about it for the artifacts. Tomorrow I will cover uh, the new Galagos ruins more in depth. I've been pushing quite a bit. I'm already at stage 49. And yeah, that's about it. And peace.